With all eyes on India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, understanding the significance of the mission is becoming all the more important. The instruments deployed on the Vikram lander and Pragyan rover have designated roles to play, and their discoveries could have a long-lasting impact on human space exploration endeavours. Let's take a look at what's going to happen after Chandrayaan-3's moon, de moon descent. Well, upon successful soft landing on the moon's south polar region, Chandrayaan-3 will open the Vikram lander and dispatch the Pragyan rover onto the lunar surface. The rover is going to leave indelible prints on the Indian national flag, as well as the ISRO's logo on the lunar surface. Here's what the rover's instruments are going to do. The rover's carrying two kinds of spectrometers to understand the lunar surface's composition. A spectrometer is a scientific instrument which uses different types of light waves to analyse the chemical composition of a substance, in this case, the moon's surface. One is a laser spectrometer and the other is an X-ray spectrometer. Elemental analysis of the lunar soil is expected to serve several purposes. The instruments are going to look for water on the moon's surface. This, as discovery of a water source, is crucial for all future human missions. If water ice exists in sufficient quantities, it could be a source of drinking water for those exploring the moon. It would help cool their equipment as well. Additionally, it could also be broken down to produce hydrogen for fuel and oxygen to breathe, supporting missions to Mars or lunar mining. Next, the spectrometers will also search for metals like aluminium, magnesium, silicon, iron and titanium. These metals, which are pivotal for all future on-site construction prospects. But the scientific community is most excited about one particular substance, and it's called helium-3. Helium-3 has potential as a fuel for advanced nuclear fusion reactions. For perspective, nuclear fusion is the same process that powers the sun and other stars. If harnessed on Earth, it could provide a nearly limitless and clean source of energy without the radioactive waste associated with current nuclear fission reactions. If water is detected with useful metals, at the lunar surface, it will trigger a new race to the moon and the South Pole will become one of the most viable and desirable places for setting up temporary as well as permanent settlements on the moon. The aspirations of the planet's scientific community continue to ride on ISRO's ambitious mission. If successful, Chandrayaan holds the potential to become an iconic space mission. It will also position India's humble space agency as a force to be reckoned with among the stars. Well, for more on this, our senior correspondent Siddharth MP joins us live from Bengaluru, India. We're up to a crucial stage of the mission, Siddharth. What can you tell us about the current stage and the status of the craft? So the craft is completely healthy. The mission, Oliver, is progressing as it was planned by the Indian Space Agency, ISRO. So far, there are no glitches. Everything is progressing smooth for the lunar landing pro process, which is to commence at 5.45 p.m. IST on Wednesday, which is 24 hours from now. Let's remember the fact that this is a very crucial mission. So as far as the health checks are concerned, all of them are going well. In fact, just a couple of hours ago, ISRO even released a statement saying all is go for landing uh, on Wednesday and the systems are doing extremely extremely well. So as far as the status of the craft is concerned, it's continuing in its orbit for several hours now, almost 72 hours now. It's continuing in an orbit which is just 25 kilometers above the surface of the moon at its nearest and close to 134 kilometers above the moon at its farthest approach. So this of course is not a circular orbit, but it's a highly elliptical orbit, which means it's an uneven orbit. And from here, you know, the craft or the, rather the Vikram lander can take on a direct path to lunar landing. So that's the purpose of staying in this particular orbit, Oliver. Siddharth MP, many thanks for your insight there. India is barely 24 hours away from being the fourth nation to make a lunar soft landing. To tell us more about the technological significance of a lunar soft landing, we on senior correspondent Siddharth MP spoke to Dr. K. Sivan, the former ISRO chief. To tell us more about lunar soft landing technology and what this means for Indian future science missions, we're joined by Dr. K. Sivan, former chairman ISRO. Sir, please tell us, once lunar soft landing happens, what does this mean and does it mean that India can here on land on other planets as well? 
uh, in fact, uh, this is one technology we acquired uh, for land, soft landing, that is a one part. But uh, to land in the other planets, yeah, this technology alone is not sufficient, some more things are required. For example, if we wanted land in the Mars, what required is there is in addition to the gravity, the masses have the atmosphere also. So it has some more criticality, but definitely this forms a basis for the landing technology, but some more improvements required to go to other uh, landing in other planets also. So by being the first nation to soft land near the South Pole, what technological advantages and head start does India gain? See, by that landing uh, near South Pole, which is an unexplored region, this one, and uh, definitely that is that uh, all the scientists globally uh, feel that some new science can be discovered in this region. That way, this particular Chandrayaan-3 mission is a very, very important and where it will be giving a global community that, that require data for doing their discoveries. And sir, what does Chandrayaan-3 mean for India in the longer run in terms of, uh, you know, further deep space missions and lunar exploration? Sir, definitely this particular, uh, the technology, whatever we are getting by soft landing, this will be useful for uh, enhancing our exploration in the, in the future or uh, exploration to the other planets, also for the science of that other uh, planets. All these things, it will be definitely be useful and it will be giving a boost to the activity. Yes, so Chandrayaan-3 soft landing will be a significant boost to India's future space missions and deep space exploration missions. With video journalist Chandrasekhar from Bengaluru, Siddharth MP, Vyond, World is One.